What's going on, Sagittarius? Welcome to the Jewelry Box. I'm Empress Gem. I drop the jewels. If you're new, welcome. All my returning subscribers, what's up? This is your January 2022 energy read. General message, guys. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support the channel, guys, if you want to donate. Book a reading, all that's listed below. So, Sagittarius, yeah. What I picked up for you guys is, um, yeah, new life. Somebody's about to receive a gift. I feel like things could be going, like, kind of crazy right now. But um, I just feel like all these power moments keep happening because spirit is showing you what's not for you so that you can get what you're supposed to have, which is, yes, the serendipity. Okay? I do feel like something is going to come in within the next two to seven days. Yeah, there is that Tauda. All right? Yeah, somebody who's loyal, Okay? What's that, 35? Bring it down to an 8. Good jobs, serious money, serious people. Um, I'm like contacts, communication. So I feel like somebody could also be coming in and telling the truth here, clearing the air about something. Yeah, something that you've been that's been going round and round or like a cycle. Like it's closing out. Somebody's coming in and they're shedding the truth. They're going to tell the truth. I feel like somebody's been lying and trying to twist the truth, and the truth is about to come out now. Yeah, bless, 22. All right, so let's get into your message for this month. Yeah, we have that new life peaking in 39. All the breakdowns come back to a three. Yeah, and this is after, like I said, after a tower, after chaos and conflict, after some sort of disagreement, after the smoke clears the air. I feel like you've been sitting back just waiting, and I feel like the time is now. It's time for things to balance out. Okay, could be done with a Libra. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, we got Minda in reverse, 52, breaking down to a 7. <sighs> Ain't no going back, because you know the truth now. What is there to repair and fix? Somebody was lying, like horribly, and I feel like you believed in this person, and now you're seeing... You know that this person was full of S H I T. Okay. I feel like um like God had to show you this. Like I feel like everybody around you was telling you that a situation or this energy was no good for you and you just you didn't listen to the people. And I feel like God just had to show you like, yo, <laughs> I just seen a scene from Pursuit of Happiness when he was like, you know, the guy drowning. And he said, you know, the boat come by. And he says, you know, God to save me. And then the second boat comes. And he says, God to save me. And then he drowns and goes to heaven. And he was like, God, you know, what happened? I thought you saved me. He was like, I sent you two boats. Like, how much more help you want? And I feel like, you know, there was like people who were saying things. Tower moments happening. You know, uh, things falling apart. And it was like God's way of kind of showing you through you know, people, but I feel like now the actual person is about to come out, you're going to catch them in a lie or something like that, something that's not repairable, like, is this, you just going to drop something, let it go, yeah, six, um, not for you here, getting balanced, getting in alignment, okay, like, just realizing something, it, it, it's not it, like, somebody, you realize somebody has been playing the game, but luck is on your side, okay, yeah, time to take a nap, 24, another six, Okay, double six is here. But Spirit is saying, it's time for you to let this go. Like, that is what the lesson is. That is what is to be learned out of this is, you know it's not for you. Ain't no, no point in, this cannot be repaired. They're full of shit. This job no good. This neighborhood no good. Like, you always felt it, but something is going to be, like, so tangible and so in your face that you have no choice but to let this go. And Spirit is like, yes, it's time to let it go, Okay. Something with this moon, this, the moon phases, okay? Um, we have 31 breaking down to a four, why? I, yeah, so mm, this is gaining and obtaining that knowledge. I'm seeing hermit energy shedding a light on something, okay? So that's Virgo. Ask questions. <clears throat> yup, ask questions, Sagittarius. Speak up and, you know, catch that per catch them. Like, uh, blow they spot up. Like, I feel like you don't want to put somebody on front street. Like, you don't want to blow they spot up. Like, you know they lying. You, you know it's a lie. 
just tell them like, hey, but didn't you say this? I thought it was this. Um, but you said that this person was this. Like, catch their ass back up. Like, ask the questions. Say what you need to say. And just let it be what it need to be, okay? Yeah, because you're going towards your true, true tribe, okay? The number eight here. I'm getting Leo energy. I don't know. Scorpio too. But family, cancer, okay? You're going towards the people that's supposed to be in your life. You're cutting out energies, things that don't serve you. Like, you're truly doing that. And I feel like, you know, you want to know why? Just ask why. You want to know why somebody screwed up in the head? Ask them. You want to know why somebody said that about you? Ask me. You want to know why somebody said that about your mama? Ask them. Like, for real. Yeah, no place like home in reverse, a 50, which is a five. Fives are changes. But it's like, this is something that you didn't want to change. Like, you were stuck in your ways about a very, like, traditional or just very thick Scorpio energy. Okay? But you was just, like, you were gung-ho, emotionally stuck on us, I'm feeling. Like, highly emotionally stuck on us, okay? I heard shorty ice cold. Like, you didn't even want to address it. Like, you was just going to let it be. Like, just there. But it wasn't comforting. It wasn't for you. Like, it wasn't. It didn't feel like home. There was no love. There was no true emotion. There's no satisfaction. There's no honesty. There's no loyalty. There's no truth. Um, honestly, it's like it, it was messing up your foundation. And this is God like trying to put things back in perspective for you. Yeah, you was between worlds. And it's like, no, it's time to step into this royalty, into this beauty. Okay? It's time to stop trying to be in the middle with things okay that shaded area of gray no it's clear as day it's black and white it's clear as day okay get out that shadiness out of that confusion it is what you see it as so now it's time for you to step forward and leave that dark energy behind do you ooh, look at that walk away it's time to get some love here but sagittarius that's you what's behind that sagittarius that's you Okay, that's angels, ancestors, they're protecting you, they're helping you walk away from this. Okay, he the advice, he was going on, yeah, you're going into this happiness, that eight of cups and that ace of baskets is nine of cups, but you know, now you're being happy, you got options, all these things that excite you, that's ten cups right there, okay, fulfillment. You better listen, now, yep, out of, with a relationship, somebody who gonna make you happy as hell, okay, so, Spirit, let me get three cards, please. Five of Pentacles, okay. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yep, this person, um, you could be trapped in your head about them. They could be trapped in their head about you, okay. Um, I heard spiritual court, so somebody's up being judged right now in spiritual court, okay. Yeah, Son of Baskets, yeah, there's certain love offers that you don't need to give to people, all right. All, <laughs> it's like how all money ain't good money. All love ain't good love, ain't real love, ain't true love, okay? Like, just because somebody's soul or their image or how they're attempting to come off might remind you of something or someone, don't mean that they're genuinely this person. I heard copycat, okay? Yeah, four sticks. This, this is it's a fake, fake twin, if you want to go there. Fake soulmate karmic type energy, okay? Yeah, and then the tower, like I said, after this time, when you realize that you're not supposed to be offering anything to this person anymore, this person's full of shit, could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, heavy on a Scorpio, okay? Or it could be even the Aries. When you realize that this person is like, when this shit come out, that's just, you're, you're going to be blessed with something new once you let this energy go, okay? Yeah, Father Sticks, there you are. Reaping what you've sown, receiving that harvest, that crop. This may take until November, okay, for things to settle out. Something could have happened in November. Shit, you could be a November Sagittarius, okay? And that's why I'm picking up that heavy Scorpio energy as well. But um, I do see you guys also focusing more on your money. Right now, you just ain't got time for love, okay? Like, you're trying, yeah, you're trying to get your house together. You're trying to get your stability back. All right, because shit got messed up with some of the people you was dealing with, okay? Family, friends, especially with them fours and them sixes, okay? You just trying to get back balance right now, stack your money back up, get you back together, all right? 
Divine Holy Spirit, yeah, fiery climax approaches full moon and Aries, that Mars energy. Conclusions are within reach, full moon, eclipse, personal resolution, okay, cancer energy. But Divine Holy Spirit, thank you. The final message for our Sagittarius. Don't let pride get in the way, full moon and Leo. Yeah, because there's like this really heavy fixed ass energy that is like going to Really, really try to fuck with you and fuck up your head and shit like that. Like, you're not a mutable energy. Like, you can't get down with the shits, get down with the get down, right? Um, but the answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini, your opposite sign, okay? Communicating, asking those why, saying what needs to be said. Gemini is the child, bruh. Like, children ask what? Hella damn questions. And I feel like that's what you're about to be. I heard loquacious Linda, okay? Listen, Linda, listen, Linda. So, you're going to be speaking up. And if not, that's what you need to do. The more you ask, the more answers you receive. So that has been your message, dear Sagittarius. I hope that has helped. And until the next time we speak, peace out.